everyone, welcome back and of course if you're new here, welcome. My name is Iani and of course this is Diane. We are doing together this DIY channel. If you like this content, of course, because I want to keep it short, if you like this content, click the red subscribe button and of course if you want to see more DIYs, come on over to our description box. There you find all the links for our YouTube channels with lots and lots of DIYs to see. For today, of course, we are going to make two new Tumblr Tile Blocks Inspiration DIY. So if you like this, get out your Tumblr Tile Blocks, get out your glue gun and join us. And if you only want to watch, have fun watching! And for today's DIY, we are going to need our Tumblr Tile Blocks. I have this time the uh, bigger version, but you also can use the smaller one. Only your DIY will be a little bit smaller. So if you want to, uh, because we are going to make today two different uh, kind of uh, lanterns, but the lanterns all, only will be a little bit smaller. If you want to size up, you just go a little bit longer. Just do a couple of blocks more. I have my wax and you can use any wax you like and paint you like at your choice of course. Uh, my glue sticks, my brush, uh, my glue gun and of course the wood glue. What would we do without our wood glue? Because we want to make sure that our lanterns will stay uh, in, this, in each other so we won't that they before falls uh, out of each other. So we are going to, these are the main pieces we need for this DIY. The first thing what we're going to do is very easy. We just take our glue and we just make a little line in between and just place them on top of here and do this on the side, squeeze it and let it dry again. This way, just build them up, place them on the side and let it dry. Make sure that you have them in a straight line. And what I do with my wood glue, you can do, of course, with your glue gun. It doesn't matter which glue you use, just use something that is a little bit steady. Steady, yeah, I hope I, say, I hope I say it right. At least, like we say in the Netherlands, it is very strong. And in the Netherlands we call it sterk. So this is already number five. This is number six. And number seven. And again on the side. And we can let it dry. And number eight and number nine and we are almost there this is number nine and we're going to do for number ten the last one and i let it uh, suck in for a little moment i think maybe uh, 20 min minutes so you have you can wait together with me or maybe <laughs> maybe i will <laughs> finish this already off and then you see me in a moment see already 40 of this kind of double blocks like this i thought i can better make all the blocks already in one <laughs> one moment so this is already 40 pieces you need 40 pieces for this size of a lantern what i'm going to do i'm going to show you now first one side of our lantern so i have here my double blocks and i have here a couple of our loose blocks what I'm going to do, I'm going to take two of the double blocks and we lay them with the two pieces, the smaller pieces uh, on top like this. And also this one is not, not this way, but again this way. I'm going to do some glue on one side on this and I'm going to place it against each other this way. Squeeze it and keep it in place for a little moment. We get another double block. We do some glue because we are going to do it on this way. So we do a little glue on the ending of this block. And we are going to lay it against each other this way. And we take now a loose block. A loose, loose block. <laughs> a loose block. <laughs> I'm going to do some glue over here on the top. And I'm going to place it exactly in the middle from the opening you still left over. And this way. I 
I'm going to go again another double block and I'm going to glue it over here. So I'm going to do some glue on this side. And I'm going to measure out a little bit over here. So I think if I do a little glue over here, I'm hope I sit sitting on the right space. Yes, I am. And I'm going to place this also on top of each other. What we're going to do right now, we're going to again take a double block. We do some glue again on the top this way. And we're going to go over it a couple of times. And we lay it down on here exactly in a straight line. And we are going again take a loose block. Loose block. I'm so sorry. How do I come? on a block <laughs> I really have no idea so I'm going to go a little glue on this side and I'm going to place it again in the middle in this way and I'm going to take again a double block and we are going to place it over here so we do some glue on this side And I have to look for where I want to have it. I think over here. A little wood glue. And I'm going to place it again against each other. Like this. And try to keep it down. And this way. And sometimes you have to rechange it a bit. Because wood glue you still can move your uh, pieces around. And I'm going to go over and I'm going to take again a double block. And I'm going to do the double block over here. So I'm do doing some glue on this side. And I'm going to place this one over here. Like this. And I'm going to take another double block again. And I'm going to do it over here. And it's already getting a little bit of a nice pattern. But of course, you can do any pattern you like. Again, place it on top of here. And we are going to do a double block. And we are going to glue it on here. Do some glue on this side. And of course, I do already some on this side too. So I don't have to do it later. And again, this way. We are going to take a loose block. Now I don't know what I'm. What's wrong with me? I am. <laughs> I'm always calling block a plus a block. I'm sorry. Here in the Netherlands we call it a block, and it's a little bit the same like you say block. So it's almost the same. So I don't know how I do. Why I do say say the different kind of thing in the middle again. This way. And now the only thing we need to close it up with a double block like this. And I only need some glue because I also should have done some glue over here. So I'm doing some glue. And I'm going to close it up with my... And now we already have one side of our lantern. So I'm going to uh, put this a little bit harder to each other. And then I'm going to make four pieces of this one. Our four sides of our lantern are dried up, at least almost dried up, but they are ready to glue in, uh, in uh, to a square. So I'm going to get my glue again. I'm using wood glue and I'm going to face them up and I'm going to do one side on this uh, side and this one will be on this side 
and this one will be in the middle of this side of course we have to glue first and later on this one against each other so it's very easy to glue So he is glued and I did my two paint cans on top of it to give it some uh, heaviness, to, uh, some pressure that it can dry a little bit better. But it was a little bit of a task just to look for which is the right way, if I, did I have all the lines in the same direction. So it was a little bit of, of looking for if I had the right way. But at the end he is now glued together and I let it dry for at least one and a half hour. In the meantime, while our sides of our lantern are drying, we are going to make the bottom. The first start of our bottom will be, of course, eight blocks glued together. And you can use very easily your um, glue gun because that doesn't matter how you glue it, as long as you do it a little bit in the straight line. I will do this one for and five and six and seven and number eight and i'm going to do this twice of course we are doing this number in of this over here and we made a very straight line just glue them this way together and just place them over here and now just make a nice straight line and we're going to do this two times like this squeeze them a little bit and remove the glue and replace them again like you get a nice line over here you also can use a, a brush to brush away the glue you don't need but this one has to be a little bit higher like this this is already the first eight i'm going to make the second one We have now our two pieces of eight and we are going to glue both uh, of the pieces together. I hope that he is dried up already enough so I can put him on the side and I'm going to do some glue on the side on the line like this. This way and now I'm going to let it uh, suck in for a little moment and then I'm going to glue them together. So my bottom is dried up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take two blocks and I'm going to glue them together the same way like we did with the uh, lantern itself. But this time I'm going to do it with some um, glue from my glue gun because this can dry very fast. I need four of the pieces like this, two against each other. This is number two. And the third one and squeeze it and press it down and the last one so i need four little kind of legs and you can also use some beads for it so if you have beads laying around here in the netherlands we can uh, uh, can't find uh, a lot of beads of course you can beads from children's uh, uh, play things but just wooden beads is a little bit harder most of the time i order them online but I can find them very, um, um, how you say it, very uh, difficult. And that's a better word. <laughs> that's a better word. I'm going to do some glue on this side and I'm going to glue it in the corner and squeeze it and press it down. I'm going to do this one. And again, almost in the corner, like this, and try to get it as even as you can. And this way and i'm going to turn it over and i might make my own little kind of legs and this way and this is already number three and the last one we are going to place it over here and now 
almost our lantern is finished. The only thing what we still need to do. And you see now you have a nice little riser. I think it looks more like a riser. I have to get out my glue like this. And now we get our lantern. And if we going to glue this in a moment on top of here, you see this will be the lantern. And I'm so happy with the, the decoration of at least the... Um, shape that it is in. I don't know, that's not the right word. I'm, co I'm coming on it, so have a, bear with me, have a moment. <laughs> I will come on it. I mean the pattern, what's uh, inside of my uh, lantern. Uh, I'm going to glue this uh, on top of it, and then we still need uh, a kind of a bead, a uh, beaded garland to uh, glue on top of here, so it gets a little bit more uh, like a rustic feeling. Before I go, I'm going to place my beads on top of here, I'm going to glue my uh, lantern on top of here. So I'm going to turn it over and we are going to do some wood glue because I want to make sure that this is really steady and on top of my uh, bottom. I don't want that it falls off. So this way and I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to place it in he on here. And this way. And now I'm going to look that I have it on both of the sides. Almost the same place like this. Squeeze the little and I'm going to do a paint can on top of here to give it some uh, heaviness again. So I let this dry and I'm going to get my beads. I have here my beads and this is just a very simple Christmas garland and in the black color. Um, I did a, a DIY uh, on my other channel all about Christmas and I used it also and I painted in the school board a black paint but uh, that's I used it for uh, to making a handbag but if I am looking right now I don't think I am really enjoying how it's looking like of course I have it already inside of each other I really have no idea how it do. <laughs> I want to get this out of it. Out of it. So we take just another piece like this. But if you look for this, I'm sorry for the noise. <laughs> I really don't like it. So uh, I don't do beads. I leave my lantern the way it is, just uh, simply uh, just the, uh, with the wood. I'm going to do some furniture wax on top of it, and you can paint it in any color you like. But I am not liking the beads, so I don't know what it is, but I think um, for me this time I don't uh, do the beads. And I'm really happy because now I don't have to get it out of the nodding again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to do it in some furniture wax and then we're going to light it up. I'm going to use, like always, my very cheap brand furniture wax. It's very a uh, dark uh, antique wax. You see, and I'm going to do my whole lantern. What you also can do before you glue your uh, bottom on top of it, you can give the bottom another color. You can make it uh, in the black color or white color or any color that's fitting for your decor. I'm going to do it totally also in the furniture wax. And most of the time I also do it so you can still see uh, the wood is coming through. And it's a little bit easier for you to, uh, if you want to make it also just to... Um, how you say it, duplicate it. I think that's a better word. So I'm going to do it in the wax. My lantern is totally in the furniture wax and I wiped it off with a piece of paper kitchen towel uh, to make sure that all the wax is uh, finished and I don't have uh, all the wax on my hand. I take a little piece of greenery like this and I'm going to cut it short and I have my wired uh, a light and of course I did the box where the batteries are in I painted in the black color so you see it's a very um, flexible so that's why I love the wired um, pre-lit um, yeah, battery operated lights so I'm going to place it inside and on the bottom very easy make sure that he falls down like this and then we're going to make sure that we I don't know what it is today, but I have everything tied up. <laughs> I get it out of the <laughs> out of each other, and then you see the rest. And yes, I am loose, so I'm going to lay it down. <laughs> and this uh, battery-operated uh, battery lights are also uh, on a timer, so that's 
really a great thing so i'm going to place it inside and of course it does come on the sides out but make sure that you get try to get everything inside of the lantern but if you like it of course when it uh, pops out is also fine too so i'm going to leave it this way i'm going to take the uh, smaller uh, little pieces i just cut it off and i'm going to do a couple on the sides on the under piece and i'm going to place this one two in each uh, side and i have another one over here and i'm going to place it also in the side and squeeze it in and you can do it as far inside as you want now i take two uh, pieces also but i did cut them even shorter because it's on the front and this is not as wide as you see of course as this one so i'm going to go and i'm going to squeeze it in and so you make a very easy and unique lantern for yourself and you can also make two of this one so go ahead it takes a little bit more of your blocks but i think at the end he looks very nice in a moment you see a quick impression and here you see a quick impression of our farmhouse lantern and i'm so happy that i doubled up the blocks because it gives a more like a high-end look and especially because we don't pay a lot of uh, money for this kind of a lantern so i hope you enjoy this also and let's now go further to our next DIY and everyone, before we go further to our next DIY, I have to tell you that this video is also part of a beautiful get-together which is hosted by the two beautiful ladies, Zena from OK at Home DIY and Connie from Connie Creative Creations. The guest host for this month is Krista from Krista Crafty Life. Of course, I will place the link for all the three ladies that channels down below in our description box. Go check it out. And also, I will place a link down below in our description box for the playlist with tons and tons of beautiful inspiration for you to find so go check it out and right now let's go further to our next diy hey diane here ready for a new diy with some wood today i like to use those jenga tumbling below tower blocks and i also have some paint stir sticks uh yeah and i would like to make some sort of great idea for them for storage just a little bit different with a Kind of window idea um so that's what we're going to do let me see what we need first i think that will be okay here's the glue gun heated it up some extra glue stick to be sure um i like to use two painter sticks but you can also do it with this kind of wood uh what i first like to do is start gluing those blocks together and i think three will be enough a row of three then we're going to let them dry so just like this and another one oh this one has text some of them have that that's just a product we buy uh those jenga blocks at the action that is a similar shop but then to the dollar tree and i will go to make three of these rows Just a few more blocks to go. I have three of these rows, and now we're going to get the two of these sticks in. Let me turn the crafting mat a little bit. And uh, I measured that we need three of these. And of course, we have to lay it down straight. I want one on the top as well. Just like so i think the most handiest way to start gluing is one on the bottom and one on the top section and uh well let's say we have one two three four of these lines here that we put it upon the third line and i hope if not then we're you know we're going maybe a little bit down do it like this so I'm going to glue two extra together, which you can also place it back. And then you get some sort of window pane idea. Maybe this is nicer. Just put one down here as well. Put down two here. And we're going to do it like this. 
And oh, of course, I need to go over the net and maybe like this. So, and then maybe trying to make a window like this. Oh, that doesn't work completely. <laughs> I think I have to do it like this. Yeah, but now it's getting a little bit weird because. <laughs> I'm doing weird things and nothing is aligned perfectly. Um, but the reason why I use these painter sticks is to give more strength to the whole construction. So I still need to glue two down like this, one like that, and one like that. Uh, yeah, let's use the glue gun for that. So I'm going to glue these together, three pieces of two blocks and one piece of three blocks. And then I'll be back because then I'd like to start assembling this thing. Hey, I'd like to start assembling all the blocks, the block rows that I'd like to make are being glued now. Um, well, let me see. Let's put this all on the bottom section. And therefore, I'm going to place it straight down like that. I'll use the hot glue gun, but you can also use wood glue. That is totally up to you. I'm going to quickly assemble it before the glue starts drying too much and just hold it a few seconds I'm not going to glue this part yet still this one hopefully then we can align the whole thing a little bit better okay now the top block therefore I will stand up because then I can see better what I'm doing just put your presser down like that. Hopefully it's aligned now because it can't move anymore. What I like to do now is start aligning. Yep. I think now we have a straight walk. Let me feel. Just like this. Okay. Let me first do this one, not too fast. No, with this one as well. And we do the left section. And then we have the base ready. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that lamp is annoying for you to watch. This is our frame. Now I'm going to assemble the next step of the frame. Checking if there is any excess glue that I can still rip off with my nail. I think I'll use a small part. This is a hard one. Yep. Now the gluing, gluing gets easier. Okay. Let's just put a lot of glue here. I still need to refill the glue gun. And then glue it here on the center of those blocks. Now we get the other one. Uh, yeah, this side is the ugliest side. Just like so. Okay, there we are. Now we can start putting one in like that. And yeah, it's still a little bit wondering what I need to do with the other three block part. First, let's aim get this in the right position. And that is the good thing about aligning first these two. This one will always fit. Um, or just keeping it in like this, in the center of the middle block. And then you can do it like this, or if you prefer, yeah, not going to work now doing it on the back so you can also maybe that is a cool effect too glue it like this and then place it up here that gives a nice idea of depth i think we're going to do that so we have the frame the last pieces still need to get in and therefore i think i'm just going to apply a lot of glue here and maybe like this yeah, I think that is better just on these sides. The base frame is done. Hope how you like it. This is the front part and this is the back part. Um, maybe good to know that 
here in between here in this gap used a lot of glue from the hot glue gun to give it some more yeah strongness oh sorry <laughs> i thought the other phone was off um time to start painting uh yeah i'll make a white one i think and then i'm going to start distressing with some bee wax i think that gets a nice rustic color That's it, the whole rack is now white. Uh, time to start drying it. You can use a blow dryer, for example, but you can also dry it through the air. Uh, I think I'm going today for the blow dryer option. And then distressing time. The paint is dry, time to start distressing. And therefore we have bee wax and I have a really small brush here. Um, I bet you know how to, how at least I always distress, but going to show you if you knew or just need some inspiration. Uh, I always dab the uh, brush in the lid of the cam to get those excess bee wax off and then the first thing I start off is this. Just lay the brush flat and move back and forth on the edges of the wood. And here and there you can just Gently start to wipe in. But of course, this is just an idea you can do it your, your way. The only thing I'd like to show is how I do it. Gently brush off some more. In some parts, it's really concentrated, the distressing thing. Keep it a little bit like this. These are just some ways. Discover your own. First, I was always afraid to distress, but actually you can't do it wrong. Just develop your own technique and then you get familiar with it and then it's not so scary. Ooh, yeah, well, that's what I said. It's not so scary anymore. Quickly blend it in with the rest of the edge. This is a way. Jenny has her own way. I'm just showing you things how you can distress. I'm going to do the rest of this thing. This 
is the third side of what we're going to make today. This dress turned well and uh, yeah, I wanted to put stand up right like this, but uh, this still needs some sort of rack here in the front. So at least we need something which is three of these wide and uh, yeah, well, let's see. Just going to build a frame of how it would look like if we have one block in front. Of course, we need multiple building it up with some sort of container. And it goes wrong, I know. Just an idea of the scale, by the way. Of course not. Uh, it needs to be higher, but I think this is what we're looking for. But you can also, of course, make it longer if you have some bigger stuff that needs to get in. Let's see how large we want it to have. I think three will look cool. Well, let's see it first with two and then three. I'm going to lay these up here and then I can start building like this. front section. Let us see if it fits. It should fit. And so it perfectly does, which is a good thing. Time to paint this and therefore I'll be using black paint. This black paint, black board paint to be precise, also from Action. Let's shake it a little bit and then we can start painting. part is done. Now I'm going to put some glue here from the white paint section and then going to push it together so it becomes one big piece. Of course you gotta be careful as always. Now push it, hold it secure for a few seconds until the complete big dot of glue is dry. Just like so. And then we have the base complete. Now this thing here needs a bottom as well. I thought this will fit. Glue them all in one line. Put them in here. Here comes the last one. String of glue. And hold it in place. Now get it loose. And there's our bottom section. And that should fit in here like a glove. I said should. <laughs> Maybe I'm doing it not right. Just let it fall down. Carefully push it gently down. Now the tension holds it completely together. I did it in a blank wood space, but you can also paint it completely black. That is just whatever you want. Found some of these tiny wooden letters in my crafting box. 
Let's turn on the glue gun because I want him to be up here. But the way I like to glue that, it starts in the center because then you can align, or at least that works for me, aligning the letters will be better. Um, going to start with the M and I use the guidelines of the blocks to determine where these things needs to go, need to go. Okay, the glue gun is ready for duty. Here we go. Ta-da! So the only thing I want to do is fill up the crate. Therefore, I have two big lemons, but you can always use smaller ones. I'm going to grab some greenery and then we have some nice sort of yeah fruit stalls that actually here you see the final result of the DOI. Just spice it up with some greenery. Here's the back part. I'm gonna use some greenery and of course some lemons to finish it off in this nice setting. I hope that you like it. Let us know what you think of it by writing it down in the comment section. So this was it already for the enemy for today. I hope you had fun watching. If you like this content and you're not subscribed to our channel, I hope you will click the red subscribe button and the bell button so you will be notified every time we upload our new DIY inspiration. Of course, it doesn't cost you anything. Do you want to see already right now new DIY inspiration? Come on over to our description box. There you find the link for this channel and of course my channel all about Christmas. So go check it out. And don't forget the playlist. So I hope to see See you there. Have an amazing day everyone. I hope to see you next time. Bye!